Hi everyone. Um, I just thought I'd share with you my next little project that I'm going to take on. Um, I haven't been doing uh, any painting recently. I've had my stuff packed away in storage and just got moved into a new place. Um, so I bought off a marketplace, if you can see in the background, it is a bed frame and there's a headboard there and then right here we have the footboard and then the side rails are on the floor but I am going to paint it. Um, so what I've done so far is sanded it lightly with some just some flexible 220 and 180 grit sandpaper just giving it a nice light sand and um, I am going to paint it. Um, what I'm going to do is paint it actually a darker gray and then do a lighter gray wash over the top so that in all this um, detail here, I don't know if you can see it, um, it's almost you can pick it up from the sand because the I just sanded it so it's going to pick up all the detail. Anyways, um, so next I will be mixing up some paint and making my own chalk paint doing that um, and I will show you how I do that. So for mixing my paint um, and making chalk paint, it's really easy and a lot cheaper because chalk paint can get quite pricey and you don't have as many colors to choose from. So I, you can make your own by adding Plaster of Paris. So for every eight ounces of color, and you can get any color that you want, and um, you will mix two and a half teaspoons of Plaster of Paris plus one tablespoon of water to your paint, and then that creates a chalk paint. And stir. And going with the grain, you start painting. Making sure you get in all the grooves. So starting at the top and working down, I have my lighter shade of uh, gray here and my brush. I'm going to brush it on and I have it watered down, have a spray bottle because you can keep spraying it to keep it wet enough. And you want to work in sections because you put on a little bit and then you're going to have, you need to have a bunch of little uh, old cut up cloths or a sponge, um, a damp sponge um, to wipe it off as you go. So I am going to, I can start here. So this is an idea. And we're going to be brushing this on. And as we brush it on, and we want to keep spraying water on it to keep it wet. And get in all the grooves and the cracks. And I'm just going to kind of show you a quick panel here quickly uh, keeping it wet so I think the sponge it's nice and wet and you want to probably work in big 
these flat sections all at once. And then with the rag, you're going to come in and wipe it off. And then you can see how this detail is going to stay in all the, like the light areas will stay in the crack grooves. And you can kind of wipe off as little or as much as you want. Just how, the look that you want. Going with the wood grain, of course. And it, you don't need to have it perfect. If it starts to dry, you can take a wet sponge to reactivate some of the paint down here. You kind of want it to be, like I said, not too perfect or re-wet re some of it. But you gotta kind of work quick before it dries. That's why you have to do it in sections. to dry you just rub it a little bit harder if you don't because you can always uh, remove it and reapply it if it's if you're not really happy with the look that you were getting you gotta do that quick <laughs> finished product.